R- Ramona, is it, is it true that he set a kitchen on fire? <laughs> the church. <laughs> and the yeah, church on fire. Believe me. The church was ready to be burned. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to be creative. <laughs> and creativity uh, involved risks. Yeah. So I will let Ray to tell you a little bit about it. Okay. Well, it was a mistake, please forgive me. <laughs> I didn't want that to happen. It, it, was, it just happened. Uh, we, were, we were trying to be creative and, and um, we were teaching lots of seminars about creative teaching. We want to be relevant for our young people and so on. So, uh, in our church we have that environment where they let us experience new things. And we did lots of pioneering type of work, but sometimes it gets out of control. <laughs> so, it's a long story, but I'll be very short. Uh, what happened is, is this. Um, uh, we were uh, teaching a series in John 15, I mean in Laws of the Kingdom, and that particular Sunday evening was John 15. You know the, the passage with the, um, the gardener who's coming to cut the uh, dry uh, branches and put them and set them on fire. And so we wanted to illustrate that. <laughs> so we did it. Uh, with our creativity, we, we built a huge cross, we covered the cross with, with branches, green and dry branches, and um, uh, at the end, of the, at the, end of, the, of the service, we were planning to have somebody to play the uh, Jesus role, yeah, the gardener, to come and cut the, the dry branches and put them and set them on fire. So we arranged everything. We put the big cross, we put a nice uh, uh, stone altar in front of on, uh, where the puppet is. Um, and we put there a, a, a metal can uh, to burn the dry uh, branches there. So while the guy was preaching, I was staying there with the gardener. And we were thinking, and uh, I w- I'm telling him, look, um, well, I brought this jar full with gasoline, but I think it's too much. Um, <laughs> so I'm telling him, look, um, when you go up there, please just pour a little bit, not, not the whole jar with, with gasoline. So he said, oh, okay, fine, fine, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll take care of that. Okay. Well, he goes up, uh, the uh, uh, sermon ends, uh, the music starts, somebody reads the passage, John 15, and this guy goes up there, he just <laughs> cuts the dry branches, take them, put them in that metal can, and uh, he forgot. He takes the jar with gasoline and pour all the gas in there. And I'm going like, oh no, what, what will happen now? When this guy just lights his match and put it there, the fire goes like, wow, up to the ceiling. And uh, a, a dark smoke was coming out in, <laughs> towards the ceiling. And the church goes like, oh. <laughs> and I was there to just, Changing colors, oh no, what, what shall I do now, what shall I do now? And slowly I go up there and just walk the, the stairs and uh, like everything's under control. I just go and uh, take the microphone, the fire was big, it was a big hit. Uh, the microphone was getting hot, I take the microphone, I just move a step to the right. And I, okay, let's uh, stand and pray. So I close with a prayer, very calmly, I close with a prayer. And by the prayer was finished. Uh, my half side, uh, my left side, half left side was red and burning. <laughs> this side was white and uh, uh, so I said, okay, church is free. So I go take the, with two sticks of wood, I take the metal can and go out and throw the, um, the fire out of the church. When I go back and go to the place underneath the metal can, the, the carpet was burned. And I was thinking, oh no, now the elders, they will call me, it will be blood on the walls. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what shall I do now? Well, to finish this story, um, at the elder board meeting, they didn't say anything. In fact, one of them protected me. And he said, well, a guy who was not there, he said, well, let's talk about Sunday evening. And the other said, uh, have you been there? No. Well, then keep your mouth shut. It was a good example. <laughs> it went a, a little bit out of control, but uh, it was a good example. Powerful people understood the whole thing. And I was like, oh, oh, that's good. And to end the story,